Hi guys, just me obviously, I'm making this little video just to show you that you can actually make a lot of stuff uh, but a healthy version of it. So today I'm, I'm going for the, the root of all evils, I'm going for chocolate, okay? Now I'm actually going to bring some this week to camp, I've probably already brought it already by the time I've got this video up online but there we go. So you should have already had some, so this is how to make it. Um, you should have already had the recipe for it but I, I thought I'd do this little bit of a video guide as well, okay? So let's get cracking. I'm going to move this camera down a little bit just so you can see what we've got going on. So there's only a couple of things that I've got that we're going to be using. Sort this camera out, it's going mental on the tripod. So there's, there's four main ingredients. The first one is agave nectar. I think that's how you pronounce it, but it's basically a, a natural organic sweetener. Uh, it's excellent because it's better than using sugar, but because it's got this in, you're much better having the clean chocolate after training or within an hour of training, okay? Um, next up we've got cocoa powder, so just normal cocoa powder that I've got from Asda, quite cheap. Um, Again, quite clean. Next up, we've got chopped nuts. I chose to use chopped mixed nuts. Now, you can use a specific type, so you can use like pecans, almonds, uh, whatever you want to use. You probably won't find the chopped up version um, if you're getting normal nuts. You'll just have to put them in a blender and, and blend them yourself. But I've just, just gone for the chopped mixed one, okay, just to save myself a little bit of time. And lastly, I've got virgin organic coconut oil okay this is excellent for cooking especially with eggs and things like that um, it's really really good because it's a good fat and especially for cooking it's ace okay it tastes tremendous and even just having it on its own so even if you were to have a little bit literally with a little spoon you're going to cut cra carb cravings just by having that with a little bit of cinnamon, cinnamon on top as well. Um, it tastes quite nice. It tastes like banter. So obviously it says it in the name. It's cold cut up. So I'll stop waffling on and start making this. Other bits you'll need is simple stuff. So I've got some scales with a little DIY bowl that I've put on top because I'm lazy and I don't want to wash the proper bowl. So I'll put that on top. Um, I've got a glass bowl. A little tray thing just to put it in when it's done. And I've got a pan as well, which I know everyone's got all that stuff. So you'll need these four main ingredients. So, first off, what you'll need to do is you're going to need to mix your, your nuts up if you've not already got them chopped up. So you'll need to get them in a blender and get them nice and small, but I've already got the, the chopped versions. So what you need to do first is melt the, some of this coconut oil in a glass bowl. So I'm just going to put some water in there. Probably going to take a while to actually heat up, but there we go. So I'll put that on there, I'll put that on full blast. It's, like I say, it's probably going to take a little bit to heat up. So I'll let that heat up while I measure some of this stuff out. So I'm just going to go off what the recipe guide says. I probably need to make more, so I'll probably need to make it twice. But to be honest, you'll probably get away with making half of it if, you, if you're only doing it for yourself. So first up, what I need to do is get 100 grams of this cocoa, uh, sorry, the coconut oil. Now, it's pretty much half of this because it's too... In fact, we'll measure it out instead of guessing. So, I'm going to get a knife. Again, guys, you can do this yourself. You don't have to watch the video, but it's, it's just nice to, to go through it with you. So I'm going to get 100 grams of this and put it in the bowl. It is quite expensive, this stuff, so watch that you're, you're not trying to make this too often. Probably costs about £6 or so for this tub. But if you're just using it for general cooking, then it will last you a while because you only put a little dollop in for if you're doing eggs or something like that. But if you're using it like I am, you put a hell of a lot in for, you, for, you, for making this clean chocolate, so... Just be aware it's not the cheapest thing around. Put a little bit more in. So I'm just trying to get it up to 100 grams thereabouts. Uh, like I say, obviously, if you don't want to make as much as I am, then you just make less of everything. Okay, my pan sizzling away. I think that's about 100 grams. Yeah, we'll leave it as that. So you can see probably half the tub, roughly half, like I said before, is gone. But I wanted to weigh it out anyway. Uh, 
let's put a little bit more in. I probably need to make this twice because I'm making quite a bit for you guys, so I'll need to make quite a lot of this. So that's about 100 grams. So what you do from there is you're going to put it in your glass bowl. I got nothing complicated here. If I can do this, anybody can do this. In fact, I'll probably end up messing up, but I'm not going to edit the vi video if I do. So all I've done is put it in this glass bowl. I don't even know if I can heat this up, but I'm going to try it anyway. Um, and then I put this glass bowl. I don't know if you can see. I'll bring the pan over. All I've done is put the glass bowl on top of the pan, just so I can start heating it up. Obviously, just so the the coconut oil can melt. Okay. Now, while that's melting, I'm gonna sort some of this other stuff out. So the next thing that I need to do is measure out the cocoa powder. So I'm gonna get a spoon and. I'm going to get some of this in here. I need about 25 grams. I probably should have got hold of some digital scales to be honest, but I'm going old school using these, these ones. It's looking like quite a lot, 25 grams, so I'm going to keep putting this in. That should almost do. Right, that'll do, because it looks like a hell of a lot that. In fact, I'll put that little bit more in. There we go. So, it's around 25 grams in there, so you can see it is quite a lot of stuff. So I'm going to leave that sitting there a second. And uh, what do we need next? Um, blah, 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 blah. Add cocoa powder. I don't know, just, uh... Right, so that's all we're going to do for now. I'm just waiting for this uh, cocoa. Oh, sorry, the coconut oil. don't know why I keep saying cocoa. <laughs> I must want to eat that. So I'm going to wait for this coconut oil to cook. I'm going to end up editing this video a little bit just so you're not waiting around for that. So I'll see you in a second. Okay guys, we're back on. Took a little bit longer than I thought that because the water took ages to heat up. So all I've done is took it away from the heat. Now it's all melted in that pan. Um, what I'm going to do now is put two... It says in the instructions put two dessert spoons in. But I normally put two tablespoons in when I do it. Just because you've got to watch out you don't overdo it with this agar nectar. Move, move this stuff over. Just got to watch out you don't do it with this because when you're trying to let it set in the fridge, sometimes seeps out if you put too much in. So I'm just going to put two tablespoons in instead of dessert spoons. So that's the first one there. That's the second one. Remember guys, you can always add more of this if you need to. Um, but obviously you can't take it away. So I'm going to give that a little bit of a mix. Um, what I'm going to do from there is add the nuts. And then I'm going to add the cocoa powder as well. So, I'm add this cocoa powder first. So just adding it all in together. Make sure it all gets in. So from there, all I'm going to do is give that a little bit of a stir, so it's still liquid. Obviously it's going to set in the fridge, but you want to get this done obviously before it starts going, going hard or whatever. So I'm going to add a couple of these, I'm going to add a couple of these nuts. Um, I'm going to put that back on there, I'm going to put around 100 grams of these nuts in, if we can open the packet. Find it tough to open. So I'm going to put around 100 grams of these in, so I'm just going to plough a load in. It's going to be around half the packet. In fact, I'll probably end up putting a bit less. I'll probably end up putting around 50 grams in. I think you can really do this to taste, but well, about 75 there. Oh well. Um, so I'll put them in. I'm going to add the nuts. So they're the four things in there. Really, really, really simple. Again guys, I always do it with nuts, I'm not too sure how it will turn out without nuts, but especially with the nuts, it just adds the, the consistency there, so it makes it a bit less runny, so it makes it a bit easier to, to stick together with it, yeah? Um, in fact, I'm going to put a tiny little bit more just to make it up to that 100 grams, so I think 100 grams is about right, it always looks more in the, in the bowl, so that's pretty much it. 
So we've pretty much done that. All you need to do now is put it into a tray or a carton and make sure it's not bigger or not thicker than one centimetre. From there you just put it in the fridge and leave it until it goes solid and then you eat it. It's as simple as that. So all I'm going to do is use this round one. I've got quite a small one just to make sure that it doesn't go too thin because obviously if you've got something really big that you're putting it in it's going to spread too thin. So I'm just going to add it and we'll see how it turns out anyway. I'll add all that in. In fact, I'll just put it in. I think that should be about right. In fact, I'll just whack it all in. The one that I've got is probably a little bit too thick now, but again, you just make it a little bit less if you contain a smaller. Obviously, if you've got a bigger container, then it'll fit. So that's it. It's all in there. So it's all done. All you're going to do now is let that set and then you can eat it, yeah? So all you do is put it in the fridge and that's it. So I'm going to pause this video because um, obviously you don't need to see me putting it in the fridge. So again guys, give this a go. It's really, really nice and it's going to kill your carb cravings. When you do have it though, just have a tiny little chunk, not eat it all. Just have a tiny little bit, especially after training. So that's it guys. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.